Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to Sunday Night Facebook Live. I see, oh my gosh, 17 of you just popped on here all at once. Hang on, I've got to get my get my phone plugged in and all the cords out of the way. Sorry for the jiggle jiggle. Hi Cindy, hi Julie, welcome Joanne. I'm so happy to see you guys coming in here. I have missed you. Oh my gosh, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. I know that um, Easter was a little bit better this year than it probably was last year, right? <laughs> Cindy, hi Cheryl, welcome Susan, happy to see you coming in tonight. Here's Amy from Ohio. We've got Debbie from North Carolina, Leanne is coming in. I'm, I'm excited to be here with you. Hi Debbie, Debbie Spicer, we've got Tanya from South Carolina, Kathy Sanford popped in, Kelly Perpick, yay, Rhonda Brunkhurst, welcome. So, Easter was a little different for us this year. When I booked our trip to Florida, I didn't realize it was Easter because I don't have, like, I don't look at a real calendar much anymore. Um, I do have one on my refrigerator, but I mostly go with the calendar in my phone. And of course, that doesn't show you the whole month where you can go, oh yeah, that's Easter, right? So I didn't know it was Easter and didn't, I didn't know that the time frame I booked under was Easter and didn't plan on being away for Easter, but that's the way it worked out. Yeah, I do have a pretty good tan going, right? I know. It was so sunny and beautiful in Florida. Like it only rained a couple times in just little spurts of rain. And um, the rest of the time it was sunny and beautiful. We had one day where it was a little cooler, like we didn't go in the pool, um, but the rest of the days were just beautiful. We either went to the beach or I spent some time by the pool. Steve, um, we had a really nice resort room. We had a one bedroom um, condo, basically, and it came with a screened in lanai that overlooked the golf course. So uh, that was really cool. Um, Steve spent a lot of time watching people golf, which was kind of fun for him. I don't know, whatever. Everybody has their own kind of fun, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, we went to, let's see, we went to Sanibel Island. That was very pretty. And we did one of those sunset boat rides where the dolphins chase you in the water. The dolphins are like jumping along behind you as the boat is going through the, um, what do they call that? The um, channel. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And we went to Fort Myers Beach one day, and that was really nice. It was pretty crowded there. Um, I see Pam saying it snowed in Michigan. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so done with snow. And then um, we also went into Sarasota and went to Siesta Key Beach. And I said it had the softest sand ever. It's just like walking in baby powder. It was crazy amazing. And somebody told me it's not sand, it's crushed coral, I think they said. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but oh, it was so soft and it doesn't stick all over to you so you don't get sand in all your lady bits, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is that too much? I don't know, but it's the truth, right? Um, so we had a really good time. Our resort turned out to be really nice. I was very nervous about it because booking our trip so late, I wasn't sure that I could get someplace. Like I had a really hard time finding someplace that ac could accommodate the dates that we wanted. So um, I kind of did a lot of searching until I found this place called um, Lehigh Golf Resort. And um, it, it scared me a little bit because it didn't cost that much. Like most places in Florida where you're looking to stay at a condo like that are a little bit more pricey than this place was and so I was so nervous until we got there thinking oh my god this is just gonna be the pits like this place is going to be mm, not good but it was beautiful and um, I think we would go there again it was just really nice it had a little baby pool 
that was, you know, only about this deep with water and then it had the little things where you push the button and the spray comes out and the bubbles come up from the bottom and that was really fun. And um, it had a really nice swimming pool and a hot tub and shuffleboard and they played bingo one or two days a week out by the pool. They had like a whole schedule of activities. And then of course the golf course was really nice for Steve. And they had bicycles you could take and ride bikes. And um, what else? They had grills all over the place, gas grills in various locations. Steve actually cooked us steaks one night, but he didn't use the grill. He just cooked them in the stove with the broiler because it smoked up the whole place. <laughs> Whatever. We had a dishwasher and a stove and a microwave and a big full-size refrigerator. It was just awesome. It was really awesome. It was exactly what we needed. I slept a lot like um, you know, it's really nice out there, but it gets dark fairly early. Um, <laughs> Terry says COVID pricing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with the pricing. It was very strange. But anyways, um, Steve was golfing one day and he hit his golf ball over into this kind of crummy area off the side of the golf course. And he went to get his ball. And when he did that, an alligator came out of the drainage, like the culvert in like kind of a big drainage ditch. <laughs> the alligator came swimming towards him and then it like did a flip thing and scared him to death. <laughs> it was a big alligator, like six, seven feet. <laughs> so that was kind of exciting. And then he said when he was golfing, he, um, he hit his ball out of the, I don't know if it was, I think it was out of the rough onto the green i don't know golf terms very well and it went right in the hole and he was so excited but nobody even saw it <laughs> so that was a bummer right oh well so anyways our trip was really nice um val i see somebody asked how long did haley and val stay we flew down on tuesday and haley and val stayed until um saturday afternoon late they had a late flight out like three o'clock on saturday afternoon so that was really nice and Val loved it, and she was wonderful, and both flying um, times, the, the way there and the way back, both were um, went really good. So, yeah. Yeah, Sarah, it was really nice that um, Haley and Val, or Haley was on spring break, so she could come with. So that was pretty cool. So there's Judy says, hi, Kelly, from Florida. So since Steve and I, it seems like we got home like a month ago, but it was just really Thursday. Isn't that weird? We just got back Thursday and um, Steve is complaining about the weather here in Wisconsin because it is, it, we haven't seen the sun since we got home. It's really crappy outside. Um, not, not so much right now, but it's overcast. And it's been raining for days. Well, since Thursday and um, it's just really crummy weather here and he'll complain about it. I'm like, we can get on an airplane two and a half hours. We can be back in Southern Florida. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm so tempted. But we have things to do here. So before I left, I cleaned my whole house. And um, when I wanted to come home to a clean house, like I really like that. And when I got home, my house was covered in drywall dust, like everywhere. It's horrible. And I vacuumed three times now. The cat's ripping her hair out. I'm sure she was just traumatized because we were gone, one of the cats. And so we vacuumed like three times since Thursday and my hallway is filled with cat hair again, like clumps of it. It's like, what the heck you guys knock it off. So anyways, um, my bathroom is not done and my guy that's doing the remodeling, he left for a Florida vacation on Friday. So he'll finish it when he gets back. But if I remember when I flip my phone around, when we get ready to do that, I'll give you guys a sneak peek of my new bathroom because it looks really nice. I love it. So yeah, there's storms in Sarasota. Is that what somebody just said? I think that's what they just said. Oops, I don't want to mess up my phone. You don't want to come back to the storms in Sarasota. That's what Susan is saying. Okay, well then apparently we have crummy weather every place, right? Spring shedding, somebody just said on the cat. Yeah, I don't know. It's clumps of hair though. It's not just hair hair. It's like clump, clump, clump. It's like, stop it. So anywho, I bought one of those Swiffer things with the wet, like 
I don't know, cloths, I guess, that you put on them. What a piece of junk that is. <laughs> if you don't have one, don't get it because it was just junk. Anyways. <laughs> um... Yeah, yay, Connie says she can't wait to see my bathroom. Yeah, it looks really pretty. I'm very, very happy with it so far. So, before we start stamping, I've got some things to announce. Um, my April kit class is going to be with a retiring stamp set, Healing Hugs. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm really sad to see this one go. This is one of my favorites, so I've got a whole class. And I know that a lot of people own this set. If you own this set, you definitely want to take my kit class for April because I've got, I made all the cards today. I had so much fun. And um, well, this morning we had Haley and Jared over. Molly stayed overnight and Val came. And we had, I made homemade waffles and sausages for breakfast. So we kind of hung around all morning. And then when Haley and Jared and Val left, then I made cards. <laughs> So this is going to be my kit class for April. I've got some fantastic cards designed for this. Now remember, with my kit class, you get four different designs and you get to make two of each. So you get a pre-cut cardstock pack for eight cards. Also, um, now if you don't have the stamp set, you can add it on, but it's not included in the kit, first of all. And then I'm also using the Stitched with Whimsy dies. And these are super, super fun little dies that do like little stitched outlines on the paper. They don't cut out. They just put the stitched designs on your paper, which is pretty cool. So you can add on the stamp set. You can add on the Stitched with Whimsy dies if you don't have them. Also included in the kit is going to be a half a pack of the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. This is a fantastic selection of different patterns. I love this paper. I'm also including some linen thread, the elegant faceted gems, a sponge dauber, some liquid glue, and eight envelopes in this kit. I usually don't put envelopes in my kit, but I thought we're getting down to the wire with things that are retiring and I don't want to run into trouble with not being able to get the items, right? So what did somebody just say on the 24th? Oh, when is the next game night? My next game night, I think, is the 28th of the month. Um, advertising will be available for sign up soon. I think I said today, but it's not going to be today, maybe tomorrow. I will get that all out there so you can um, click that button and sign up for cards and bingo, which is really fun. And um, Kim wants to know if I am going to do the new DSP samplers this year. I have thought a little bit about that. I need to put that on my list here. Hang on a second. I'm going to put samplers down so I can investigate that a little more. So here's what's going to happen. If I do decide to do samplers again, I... Oh, hang on. There we go. I am going to, um, I'll include, of course, the printed, the printed sheets like this, okay? It, this just comes with the words at the top. Nothing else is here. It's a kit. You get to put it together. I will cut all the designer paper. I will include scraps of each one of the coordinating colors, and you're going to need to punch your own circles because that's what made me not do the samplers last time is the punching of those circles is insane. Like I had to punch 10,000 white circles for the amount of orders that I got and I'm just not going to do it. So I have to sit down and figure all that out and make sure that I have time in my schedule for it, but I am um, considering it. So just know that. Okay. So back to the healing hugs kit class. This is going to be $49. You get all the products I just showed you. And um, if you want to add on the stamp set, it's $25. You want to add on the die, it's $22 more. And you will have the option to click on those options if you want to do that. Otherwise, if you already have these or you have something similar and you want to you know, go without them, you can still order the kit. But it's really fun when I cut your card stock. <laughs> Because that's kind of a lot of work, right? <laughs> okay, next up, we have um, 
the April online class that I do with Barb and Dina. This is the class that we collaborate on together. And we are going to be using the gorgeous Boho Indigo kit. This is retiring. And you guys, if you haven't really taken a look at this, it is the most beautiful kit ever. So we're going to be using that. And we have option number one includes a bunch of stuff with the entire kit that comes with stamps and dies and the paper and the ribbon and all the goodies. Um, we're also going to be adding gold enamel dots, magenta ribbon, a half a pack of gold foil and um, acetate boxes to option number one and ideas for all of those things you get the online class for free. So you're basically paying for all the product and then you get the online class and the card stock pack as a bonus. Okay, for, um, we're gonna do eight cards and then a box with a set of four cards. So 12 cards in a box idea in this online class. If you already have the Boho Indigo kit, um, you can order just option number two, which is $45, which includes the enamel dots, the magenta ribbon, half a pack of gold foil. Uh, oh, you get a whole pack of gold foil with option number one. Um, one acetate box. Oh, hang on. I got that wrong. You're going to get a half sheet of vellum, a half a pack of the gold foil, and a half a pack of the gold glitter enamel dots and a roll of the ribbon with the 12 cards and the acetate box idea. Or if you just wanna get the PDF version, it's 25 bucks. And those will be ready by the 23rd. This is a pre-order. Okay, so that's what's happening with my online classes. Also, if you have not investigated the Stamp Happy Academy website that Barb Dina and I do together, you need to go check it out. There is a whole bunch of fun going to be had on there. Um, we have a catalog kickoff coming up for what? The new catalog. Oh my gosh, you guys. I got my new catalog. It's amazing. Now, if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. I would be happy to send you this catalog. You need to email me at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com, okay? Email me your address and I will send you a new catalog. If you have placed a $50 order with me or a, an accumulation of $50 in orders with me in the last six months, I have put you on my mailing list to get these catalogs. So don't worry about that. Um, they will be coming in the mail soon and this catalog starts on May 4th. So yay, something new and exciting to look forward to. And Tanya says the new catalog is amazing. She's in trouble. I know and you're welcome. I totally get it. So, um, new catalogs are ready. What else? Um, da, 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 da. I went shopping twice while we were in Florida, and I bought one thing. It was a pack of funny little cocktail napkins that I'm going to give my mom for her birthday. <laughs> and they say, oh, you use a wine bottle stopper that's cute or or how adorable or something like that like you should just drink the whole bottle my mom loves wine so if you guys have any um, advice on um, my mom likes sweet wine and I know nothing about wine because I hate it and my mom likes sweet wine and I would like to get her a couple bottles of wine to go with the cocktail napkins that are funny and I got her a pampered chef wine bottle opener which I've heard is pretty snazzy and my boxes of cards that I've been sharing with you guys that I have made so I'm gonna give those to my mom too but I need some ideas on sweet wine that I can buy her because I know nothing about wine um, Val's birthday is on the 25th of April and I got you guys have sent a couple cards to Val which I'm going to show you tonight when we're done stamping super super cute um, we're going to have her one year birthday party. Isn't it crazy to think that she's already a year old? And let's see, will you offer, um, let's see, will you offer the PDF file for the healing hugs? Bonnie Jo, that's a great question. And no, I do not offer a PDF file for my monthly kit class. We do for the online class, a PDF only. The monthly kit, I don't, but... 
if you're a member of Stamp Happy Academy with your um, basic membership, which is $19.95 a month, and I would charge $20 for that PDF file, if you get a membership for basic to Stamp Happy Academy, you get one, two, three, four four online class PDF files every single month. It's crazy good investment. It's crazy good. So make sure you check that out. That's the only place where my kit classes, my monthly kit classes are available as a PDF only. So I'm just trying to scroll ahead now so I can get back to um, messages. But anyways, Val's birthday is the 25th and we're having the party over at Jared's parents' house. They've got a nicer house than ours and it accommodates people better and um and I'm good. I'm always good with that. And um uh Lori Jared's mom is going to be making most of the food and then I am going to be doing the little treaty things which I love to do. So we're going to make unicorn popcorn. I made that for Molly's birthday one year. So fun. And um, other little cute goodies like that. Like I think I'm, I'm ordering a number one uh, cookie cutter, a big cookie cutter, so I can make Rice Krispie bars and cut them out number ones and then put some white chocolate on them and some cute sprinkles and things like that. I love to do things like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing for Val's birthday. We already got her present for her. It's a pink four-wheeler. Don't tell her. <laughs> She's going to love it. And um, her new thing now is to say no. And when you give her a little stuffed animal, she'll give it a hug like this. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm just watching comments come in. I know, Linda, a year already. Isn't that crazy? So, Parallel 44 makes some good sweet wines. Thank you, Kathy. I will look into that. Um, what else? I have 115 packs I have to get in the mail tomorrow. I do um, challenges from time to time with my team members, whether they're business builders or discount shoppers. Everybody gets to be in on it. And recently I did a challenge with them for the month of March. So I had 115 team members that qualified and um, achieved the goal for the challenge. So I've got a lot of mail going out of here tomorrow. Woo! Crazy, right? If you would like to be in on challenges like that, join my team. It's a lot of fun, and you will get a minimum 20% discount on all your purchases. Woo! Okay. Um, I want to show you the bathroom. Oh, and my mom's birthday is this Thursday, the 15th. So she's born on tax day here in the United States. Oh, yesterday I got my taxes done. Oh! I have to take them to the accountant tomorrow, but holy cow, I spent most of the day doing that, and I just want to poke my eyes out. Poke the eyes out. Texas, I hate them with a passion, but I'm done. Yay! Now I'll get to see how much money I have to pay. Ah! Yeah, maybe you guys won't see me next week at all. I might have to leave the country. Just kidding. I pay my fair share. Okay, Barb says she likes my tan. I did enjoy my time away. Thank you very much. And yes, I love a good tan. Not going to lie. Um, I think I will... Are you guys ready? I don't want anybody to get sick. Okay. Yeah, I know Wendy says, whoa, 115 met the challenge. Yeah, they did. I did not expect that. So it was a little um, overwhelming, but a pleasant surprise. Okay, you guys, so hang tight. I don't want anybody getting sick, but I'm going to take you into my other room in my bathroom. So hang on. It's going to get dark for a second. And let me get the lights on. One more light. We're going to turn the camera around so you can see my beautiful little bathroom. Okay, so here it is. Ah, look at that flooring. Oh my gosh, I am just giddy over the flooring. It is ceramic tile, and it looks like whitewashed planks. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Yeah. Okay, so here, there's a little, oh, you can't really see that much of the dust on the window. It's pretty gross how dirty everything is. But here is my vanity. <sighs> And then my guy didn't even ask me, because I'm kind of the person who goes, yeah, Fred, whatever you think. 
He didn't even ask me about putting the shiplap on the wall. He just did that, and I love it. Here, let me turn that light off so you can see that. Hang on. There we go. And here's my here's my cool light. Yay! And my shiplap and my vanity, and I love these faucets. I have one in my downstairs bathroom that we redid like last year, too. And then he put the... um new molding around my window to make it more like farmhouse. That's my neighbor. That's not John's house, by the way. Not John's house. But anyways, that's my neighbor's house. And then he he painted the walls dark gray, which I didn't like. That was all him. I love it. And then here is my crazy new shower. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a better angle on that. Oh, that may be a little bit better. Oh, there's my new shower. Check out that ginormous shower head. Ha! I know, I can't wait. I got to get the squeegee thing to do the um, glass after, you know, you get done taking a shower because um, the water here in Menasha, Wisconsin leaves like watermarks all over. So I'm afraid to shower in here till I get the squeegee thing and the the shower spray. So I don't wreck it, but that's my bathroom. And I love it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go back in my office. Oh my gosh, you guys get to see my horrible mess. Well, it's not that really that bad. <laughs> it's a lot though, right? It is a lot. Okay, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. We're gonna stamp now. Like, are you guys going, hey, where's the stamping at, Kelly? Yeah, well, you know how chatty I can get. Okay, we have unicorns for our new catalog. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, we have winners for last time. And I had one of my wonderful followers who sent me a whole bunch of stamp sets, you guys. A whole bunch of stamp sets. So, I decided that for my giveaways, this time around. Hang on, I'm getting everything set up here. I'm going to give away stamp sets for all three things. So when you comment, you want to definitely leave a comment here because that enters you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. You like my tiny hands? Yeah. And so, let's see if I can, oh that might not be the nicest finger to put my tiny hand on. <laughs> this is a family show, Kelly. Keep it clean. <gasps> Approaching perfection for commenting on my last Facebook Live. This is a fabulous, fabulous stamp set. Is going to, oh, I shouldn't show you people's addresses, sorry. Is going to Sarah Thibodeau, T H I B O D E A U. Sarah, I know I'm probably messing your name up horribly, but um, Sarah is from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. This will be on its way to you. So, yay! Congratulations. Oh. Okay, next step. For um, sharing my video, now you can click on that share button right now. Do the share. Do the share. <laughs> click on that share button right now and share my video. That really helps me grow my business. This punch, punch party stamp set is going out to Sue Tyler of... Midlothian, Virginia, for sharing my video last time. Sue, thank you so much, and congratulations. I will have this in the mail to you tomorrow. I do have both of their addresses. Last but not least, I have a really big gift. This is for everyone who placed an order with me in the since I was on live last time, um, is going to get this Berry Blessing stamp set a whole pack of the blessing something or another paper who knows what this is called delightful very delightful <laughs> very delightful designer series paper hang on this is i cut this to six by six so i can ship it a whole pack of that the berry blessing stamp set and also a card class that we put together for our um, spring virtual retreat. Now, I had a few of these left, and so I decided to include this with the prize. And this is a Berry Blessings class, and I will send the PDF file to 
Did I tell you who won this yet? Oh my good lord, hang on. I lost it. Oh, <laughs> Carrie Mayo of Clive, Iowa. This is going to be on its way to you. Let me put her name back on here. Oh, we don't want to lose that. What is going on with this? I don't need to keep the plastic on here, but I thought, well, why not? So, there we go. Prizes for everybody. Lots of fun coming your way. And thank, thank you to all of you, whether you won a prize or not, for sharing and commenting and liking and, of course, ordering. Orders are what keep me in business and allow me to continue to do free videos. So, oh, you know what I forgot? In my kit, you get a dauber. One dauber. We're going to be using it for a fun technique in my healing hugs kit. And did I say a bottle of glue? Yeah. Because who doesn't need a bottle of glue, right? Okay. Hang on. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. We're going to bring in the stamping. It's time to stamp. I'm like, oh my lord, is she ever going to get to the stamping? <laughs> We are going to be using the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series Paper along with the Sweet Ice Cream Stamp Set. And I've got that all ready to roll here. I'm going to take the tiny hands off for just a moment. Also the um, Ice Cream Builder Punch. And then I've got the Timeless Label Punch. I'm going to use that along with the beautiful Blackberry Bliss sheer ribbon, some of those cute little ice cream corner sprinkles. This is the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. Gosh, it just keeps coming. Somebody said it's the retreat boxes were like a clown car. It just, just kept coming. It was kind of funny. And Bermuda Bay, Terracotta Tile, Pool Party, and Blackberry Bliss ink pads. So hang on while I dig out the rest of the stuff here. Okay. Oh, I'm going to move this. Let's see. You know what I didn't do, you guys? I didn't bring this up on my iPad yet, so let's do that. Um, hang on a second. Here we go. Okay. Here's my live. There's no sound. This is good. And I'm going to just set this right here in front of me so I can continue to watch your comments. You guys know that I don't get to see all the comments, right? When I'm live, they scroll by so fast. So just know that I'm not ignoring your question. If I don't answer you, it's because I don't see it. And all you have to do is ask again until you catch my attention, okay? <laughs> because it's kind of a lot to keep all this straight and try to stamp and talk and read. <laughs> it's, it's a little tricky, not going to lie. Okay, let me move this over here. Whew. Kind of having a little bit of a hot flush. I'm not sure why. Nothing has gone wrong so far. <laughs> you guys know how that is, right? When the things go wrong. Yeah. Here comes our cardstock layers. So we've got Blackberry Bliss, five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna fold that in half. This is gonna be our card base. And, oh, you guys are so sweet saying congratulations to all the winners. Oh, Pam Taylor says if she was closer, she would come and be my Sunday night assistant. Yeah, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? I need a moderator, Denise says. I know, I know, it's tricky, but I do have, some of my team members are on here and they do try to answer questions if they see them. Um, like Wendy said, answering questions is what your followers do. Exactly. So I always appreciate that too. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy's on my team. So yes. Okay. Next up, we have another piece of Blackberry Bliss. This is two and a quarter by four. A piece of terracotta tile that's four by five and a quarter. And what an odd combination. But it is one of the coordinating colors in this ice cream corner paper because we've got lots of terracotta tile in here. So, yeah, isn't that interesting? I don't know. I would have never put it together. But, of course, Stampin' Up! knows what they're doing, right? And then I've got a scrap of um, crumb cake. And what I did with the crumb cake 
is I embossed it with the Tasteful Textile 3D embossing folder. So can you see that texture on there? I hope you can see that because it's pretty cool. And then I've got a scrap of white and also a piece of the pretty designer series paper. And this is two by four. So, oh, and a scrap of um, Blackberry Bliss. This is a scrap and then also a white layer for the inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our ink pads here. Oh, by the way, you guys, this is my blog address. When I'm done with any of these Facebook Lives or any videos that you see, you can always go to my blog and you're gonna find still photos and all the dimensions in one place, as well as a link to all of these videos on my blog. So you can always find this. This is like my home page. And um, this is my current host code. If you put in an order and it's under $150, please use this code when you're prompted. It'll say host code and you just add this right in there. You can find this in the right hand column of my blog all the time. It is the updated um, host code. If you're on a phone and you don't see right and left columns on my blog, just scroll down until you see this host code. Okay, so let's see, what are we gonna do here? We are going to do the technique. So I saved something I didn't show you yet. This is one, this is our biggest um, acrylic block, okay? You can find any type of uh, block to use or any type of, any type of, I don't know, uh, stamp case, whatever. doesn't matter. But I happen to have this giant acrylic block. <laughs> Pam says, whoever has under $150 order? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is bubble wrap, you guys. And this bubble wrap comes in shipping packages. It's nothing um, special. It's just bubble wrap. And I have put some tape on it. And I've taped it around my acrylic block. Now, hang on. My shoe just fell off. Let me see if I have... I think... Hang on. My arm's going to get in here. Oh, I saved this, too, because I thought this was very interesting. This is giant bubbles on the bubble wrap so really any size and, and I've got that in a drawer right over here so that I can maybe use that sometime for something fun but um I'm, I'm looking at what Margaret Day said it's strange to think that it's 10 30 on Monday morning now but it is 7 30 Sunday night where you are it is very strange Margaret <laughs> not gonna lie it's weird right Okay, so I am going to take my terracotta ink and I am going to ink up my bubble wrap. And this is a really fun technique. I love to do this one. I'm going to grab, hang on a second while I get out just a piece. I just got a piece of typing weight paper I'm just gonna fold that in half. I'm going to grab my four by five and a quarter inch terracotta. And we're gonna put this on here. And we put this over it just to keep our fingers clean because I don't wanna stick them in all that ink that isn't being covered. <laughs> Mary Lynn says her last order was $600 with free shipping. That's a good time when you got free shipping, right? And here comes our background and is that not totally cool ah! yeah this is a really neat technique and I call it bubble wrap technique and we're going to now use this to make a card now if you wanted to use this again which I will I'll hang on to it I am going to Now, if you do not want to deal with this, you can, maybe you have more bubble wrap, you can just throw it away. You do whatever you want, but I clean mine off so that it's ready to go for the next color. And speaking of, let's see, I need to get, you know what I need to get? I need to get an envelope out because... I think that this would look really cool on the flap of an envelope, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So, hang on. We're going to do that. 
This is an afterthought. I have a lot of them. <laughs> I could say that it's, you know, just the way the creative mind works, or I could say that I'm just really not too prepared for things. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But I am going to ink this up again, so I shouldn't have cleaned it off because that was like a waste, right? And we're going to put the envelope flap. I want to make sure that I'm... This is kind of tricky. Let me get it down to the end here so I know where my envelope is, where it starts. Right there, all the way to there. Hope I get the whole thing. It's a little dicey. <gasps> I did! Look at it! Now, isn't that going to be fun? Wait until you see our card. You're going to love it. Okay, I'll set this aside. We'll wash that up later. Okay, on to our card. So, we are going to take this little piece. That was our two and a quarter by four, and this piece is two by four. Oh, Elaine Rebeck, this is the first time you've seen this? Well, one thing I really like about this bubble wrap technique is... Um, it goes along with a lot of cool things, but I would think that it would be really neat looking with some bumblebees, which I did not use. I'm using ice cream instead, but bumblebees and kind of this, it's kind of like a honeycomb looking thing. I thought that would be really cool, right? This is a great technique to use for um, masculine cards too, because you can put a cool background. You could actually do different colors of ink on here, right? And do some type of a rainbow pattern. That would be cool. Yeah, so lots of, I have lots of things running through my head 100 miles an hour. And Mary says she has a whole bag of bubble wrap. Yep, yep, and you'll get all different sizes and patterns, which is really cool too. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're going to add it to our card right here. This is a pretty classic layout. And then we're gonna take our Blackberry Ribbon. And by the way, you guys, this is my um, technique card for the month of March. And I had a whole bunch of these. If you're in my technique club, it's an online technique club. I'll talk to you a little bit about it in a minute. But if you're in my technique club, your cards went out um, not yesterday, but Friday for the month of March. They always go out in the beginning of the following month, and this is your technique for the month. So how fun, right? Okay, so I've just got a little bit of that Blackberry. Now I'm going to take another little piece here and tie it around. Cindy says she's never seen this before, too. I love when I can show you guys something brand new that you've never seen before. I, and I love it that you're telling me that, Cindy. So thank you, because that really makes my day. Okay, so there's our little, little piece tied there. And then, let's see. What are we going to do next? We're going to take this and put it on the front of our Blackberry card. Might have to get out a new bottle of glue. This is getting really um, low. Having to do a lot of shaking. Okay, here we go. Isn't that just an interesting color combination? I really like it, but I would have never, ever put these colors together. Okay. Oh, yeah, Kathy says you could use this with fish, too, like the bubbles in water. That is a great idea, Kathy. I love that idea. All right, now we have a little bit of stamping to do. So I am going to open up my Blackberry Bliss. And you can make this any kind of card that you need it to be. There's several different um, sentiments in here. I'm going to do thank you, but you could certainly make this a birthday card or whatever else you might need. I need oftentimes lots and lots of thank you cards. I send out thank you cards for my orders every month, so I go through a lot of thank you cards. So I'm going to use this Timeless Label Punch to punch out that thank you. And then I'm going to punch a Blackberry Bliss Timeless Label out. And we are going to stagger these together. And I am just going to offset this just a little bit, just like this. I get just a little bit 
of that shadow behind it. I think that looks cool. And then we gotta grab our dimensionals. These back here. Okay, now I'm gonna just set that aside. You guys remind me where it is if I lose it. All right, now we have some more stamping to do. So here comes our white scrap. Barb says this is a new technique to her also. Yay, I'm so happy to hear that. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade. I took um, an entire box of that. It comes in little packets with me to Florida. And I'm, actually, I took two boxes, but I only went through one. So that was good. Bev will be happy to hear that. <laughs> okay, now, before I stamp my ice cream cone tops, I need to look at my punch to see how I need to, to um, stamp them, right? So I know that I'm going to use pool party ink. And I need to stamp one right there. And then I think I can just stamp another one right here. And then I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay. This was pool party. Now this is Bermuda Bay and the little sprinkle stamp. We got lots of people drinking water. Some Ingrid's got coffee. And I'm just going to stamp this in Bermuda Bay on my ice cream cone. Super cute, right? And then as long as I have that out... I am going to take this four by five and a quarter inch white piece and we are going to stamp along the bottom with the Bermuda Bay. Just like this. I think I'll just turn it upside down. Yeah, that'll work better. Okay, so I'm just kind of got a, a thin little strip of it. Mango peach iced tea. That sounds really good. Um, one thing that I always order when we're when we go out to eat, and of course we did that a lot when we were on vacation, is um, unsweetened iced tea. And then I keep that little liquid squirty stuff for sweetener in um, in my purse and sweeten it with that. So Vicky's asking, my ink pad is gummy. Would that be from over inking? Um, you know, it's possible, Vicki, but one thing you can do is take a paper towel and just push it into your ink pad to pull some of that ink out um, and then try it. And if you find that that took care of the problem, great. If you find that didn't take care of the problem and now you don't have enough ink in your pad, you can always re-ink it again. I see that I made a mess out of this. I'm just going to baby wipes, take this ink right off of your ink pads before I get it all over my fingers and make a holy, you know what, mess. I'm going to just clean that up. Yeah. Okay. So that's a great question. Okay. Next up, we are going to take some of the terracotta tile. And now I'm just going to come in here and add some of those little sprinkles right down here and I like the way this just kind of makes a nice little nice little line on the bottom I'm gonna put one more right here because that's bothering me there we go <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> I'm weird like that okay let me get this out of the way we're gonna put this on the inside and you could put a sentiment on this inside one too if you wanted to I'm not going to because I'm gonna leave lots of room for me to write in here. So I forgot to give you guys a John update. I really don't have anything to tell you about John except I'm really excited that he is retiring because like Steve, I do not like his work truck parked at the end of the driveway because I cannot see down the street. And it was quite annoying today when I was waiting for Haley and Val and Jared to show up because they were taking Molly someplace. And guess what? I can't see if they're coming down the street because John's work van is in the way. So once he retires, it'll be over. <laughs> I won't have to see that work van blocking my street view. And I did see John out. He was walking. Um, he went for a walk yesterday. No, maybe it was t this afternoon. Yeah, it was this afternoon when I was standing out on the front porch looking for Haley and Jared to show up. Um, <laughs> you can tell I'm kind of annoyed about that. 
But anyways, he was he took his grandson on a bicycle. The grandson was riding a bicycle, and John was walking with him. So I thought that was really sweet. He's a good grandpa. Okay, we're going to punch out our ice cream tops. There we go. So my mom's birthday is this Thursday. So we are planning on going up north on Thursday till Saturday, and we're going to take her out to eat for her birthday and give her her presents and stuff. I can't hardly wait. It'll be fun. Okay. Oh, and she said, by the way, she was glad that we weren't there. This is our embossed crumb cake with that Tasteful Textiles embossing folder that looks like a waffle cone. So we're going to punch out two cone bottoms. Anyways, my mom said she was glad that we weren't there for um, Easter because everybody was sick. They all had colds. So I said, oh, it's a good thing we didn't come up. We're going to go see her and stay in the summer home. And for those of you that are new, I have a summer home that I keep at my mom's house. And it is really a camper, but I like to call it a summer home because why? Because that's fancy. <laughs> I'm all about the fancy here. <laughs> summer home, fancy, camper, hmm, not so much. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited about that. Go spend some time with my mom. Okay, we're going to grab some more dimensionals here. So I've got two ice cream cones, and we're going to get these kind of fancied up because they're pretty cute, right? Do one here and here, and one here, and here. Where's my, here's my take your pick tool. Ooh, Jamie says she loves this set. I do too. It's been really fun. So Val's first birthday party has an ice cream theme and wait until I'll take tons of pictures you guys but wait until you see the cake because it is stinking adorable and it might have something to do with ice cream that's all I'm gonna tell you you're gonna have to wait okay and then I'm just gonna put one more like right about over here how cute is that right and then this little puppy is our label oh, there we go you like my sound effects there and I think I need to move this. Sometimes I do that. I put my dimensionals in the wrong place. We'll stick it right over there so it's not interfering with my ice cream cone. And uh, I'm going to put this uh, right about here. Just want to make sure it's straight. <laughs> How cute is that? Okay, there's only one more thing we need to do here. And that is... Uh, I'm going to bring in... Let's see. I want... I just put a little pool here of glue and then I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I'm just going to put some little glue dots on my ice cream cone top and I'm going to do about five and then we're going to take our putty end of our take your pick tool and we're going to add our little sprinkles to our ice cream cone. Let me get a yellow one here. Oh, so stinking adorable. Now, this is a little putsy. So if you're not into putsy, I'm not even sure I could be your friend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's okay to not like putsy. You don't have to do this part, right? Um, let's get a red one here. sideways there we go but I have to tell you that those little sprinkles on that ice cream cone really do make a difference like they're worth the little putts that it takes to get them on here so we got one two three four five so Val's newest thing you guys is hang on I'm gonna find my baby wipe right here is um, ripping her diaper off now. <laughs> I told Haley, I said, just wait until you go and find her in her crib without her diaper on, and she's done the number two. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. 
I don't wish that on any parent. We had another baby born into the family. Steve's nephew, and it's also his godson, Tyler, and his wife had a baby on, I think, Friday. A little boy. They named him Malcolm Neal. Steve's dad's um, middle name was Neal. So, I'm not sure where the Malcolm came from, but I like it. And, of course, he's adorable. And um, my sister-in-law, Jackie, oh, she's going to make the best granny ever. She was so wanting some grandkids, and this is her first one, so I'm really excited for her. Look how stinking cute that is, you guys. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, so I'm going to throw this little glue pile away. Let's get these closed up. These are called, by the way, the Ice Cream Corner Sprinkles. Ah, isn't that cute? Now, this is my monthly Technique Club project for March, so it's too late to get this. This is kind of crooked. Hang on. What did I do? Let's move it just a little bit. There we go. Um, this is my Technique Club cards for March. Next month, I think we're going to have something equally as cool using um, another weird little item. So something that you've probably never seen before. But you get the card made, plus you get a little sample of the Technique on an instruction sheet. And what you can do with these is you can punch a hole in them and put them on a big, um, on a big, uh, like one of those little ring things. And you can have a whole book of techniques after you're in the club for a while. Now, what do you have to do for the club? Minimum $25 order every month for six consecutive months through my online store using the monthly host code. And at the end of the six months you get a $30 product credit but each month while you're in the club you get this and this so it's pretty cool all right we have more cards to make and you can rejoin the club as many times as you want I've got people that have been in it for as long as I've had it which is at least a couple of years I think it's even longer than that but um yeah, they just love it. They love it. So you get this card with the technique, and then when you sit down to stamp and you're like, huh, what should I stamp today? You can go through your pack of these, right? And go, oh, let's try this on something. So it's kind of cool. It's not kind of cool. It's very cool, trust me. Heather says she loves being in my technique club. She has learned so much. So yes. And Cheryl says, will I be able to get this with my membership? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean about get this with your membership, Cheryl. Can you, can you, um, explain your question a little bit more? Can you get what with your membership? So let me know. I'm not quite sure what you mean there. Here we go. Thank you, Nancy says she loves this. And Marianne says she loves the, she likes the color combo. I know it's really different, right? Okay, I have to put this and this and this. Oh, gosh, you guys, I didn't even... Here's the envelope. Let's put it all together, Kelly, so everybody can see. Isn't this cool? Look at how cute this is going to be. And, of course, you could stamp an ice cream cone. Oh, look, I got ink all over it. I'll have to make a new one. But, anyways, you can stamp your ice cream cone on the front here, too. And you've got just such a nice little matching set, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let me get this put away. And I think I did it. Okay. Next up. Um, oh, here comes our next one. We are going to be using, now this is my paper pumpkin box. And what I've done is I've turned it inside out. And the only reason I did that is so that I can find it. I've got a bunch of these boxes in my office. But I want to know that this one is for my... Um, die cutting tool. Okay, so this is simply a tick your pick tool with a die brush adapter in the end here. So you buy this separately. You buy the tool and then you can buy this separately. But um, I just keep one of these. So I have two. Well, I have several of these, right? But I have two. And I just keep this in the box with the little pad that comes with it. And then this is a strip of... Um, um, magnetic, whatever, tape or whatever, 
And I keep this in here so I can put my little dies up there so I don't lose them. But I'll show you exactly how this works if you've never seen it before. We are going to be using the hand-drawn blooms and the banner blooms for this two, two cards. I've got two really pretty sparkly cards for you. Also, the artistry blooms adhesive backed sequins are super fun and easy to use. The crinkled white seam binding. Oh, Yolanda says, don't redo your envelope. Just add some of the sprinkles to the front. That's a really good idea. I like it too, because that's going to save my envelope, right? Hello, everybody. I don't know what happened, but I stood up when you guys said I was frozen and my phone quit. It just quit. So I'm thinking I'm going to need to go get a new phone here this week. That's fun. <laughs> Not. Can you tell I'm just totally annoyed by the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. So, hi. I see you guys coming in. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know exactly what happens, but Facebook hates me. No. I don't know why my phone shut off. So, I don't know. Anyways, back to our project. Okay. So, I've got my Mango Melody card base, right? And then this is just a quarter sheet of basic white cardstock. And I'm going to take this gorgeous Banners, or um, hang on a second, right? Banner Blooms, I almost, I thought I was saying it wrong. Banner Blooms dies. Look at these cute. This is just one of the one of the dies that are in here, the smaller ones. They're just really cute. And now I always keep these in here when I cut them and I don't use them because I figure, oh, I can use them on something else, right? That's why all this stuff is falling out of here. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dies in here. And here is our stamp set and this gorgeous, gorgeous die. So we are going to die cut this. Hang on a second. I am going to bring in my big boss here. And I'm just gonna die cut this on a piece of white. There we go. Yeah, I was asking my um, handyman remodeler guy, Fred is his name, about my desk and he says oh I didn't start your desk yet and I was thinking you know what oh hang on just a second I was like um my bathroom worked just fine it's gonna be nice when it's done right okay now hang on I like to look at the back and make sure that this is all cut before I take this die off and I can see right here that this looks very faint right here. So I am going to push this back through my machine. And instead of running it through like this now, I'm gonna run it through like this, okay? So make sure you're checking before you pull those dies off because this is very intricate and I just wanna make sure that it is completely die cut. Sorry about the wiggle. Anyways, that's why I started talking about my new desk. I'm having him design a new desk for me and I'm hoping that I will be able to mount my camera on the wall so that when I do this, it doesn't jiggle, you guys. I want you to stop jiggling. Okay, so here comes our die. And I'm going to bring in my die brush here. And I like to leave, leave this on, leave your die on while you're doing this because you can be pretty aggressive with your little dye brush when you leave the dye on here. Poke out all the little bits and pieces. Okay. Ooh, look at all that. I just see a few more in there. I'm gonna see if I can get them out. And now I'm gonna push this out of here. Look at that. Is that not just so slick, right? Now, what I was talking about before is, let's say that I would have used one of these little dies. I can take it and I can set it right up here and it's gonna stay there so that I don't lose those little dies. Uh-oh. 
No, I don't see that I'm frozen again. I'm still moving. Sorry, you guys. Huh. I think everything's still going okay. Oh, it does say, Nancy, you froze up again. But then the, the other Nancy says, you're not frozen here. I'm not frozen on my iPad. I'm still moving, so I'm not sure what's happening. Okay. So anyways, that's what this little strip of magnet is for. It's just a kind of a little safety thing so that I don't accidentally throw my dies in here. And then I just put this away just like that. It's a pretty handy little tool. Okay, so look at how cool this is, right? Now, what I decided to do with my card is I decided to, okay, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I have two white ones. So I decided to use this piece. Um, this is, I don't remember, hang on. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. This is that beautiful glimmer paper. Rainbow glimmer paper. There, that's what it's called. I <laughs> couldn't remember for just a second. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Thank you for telling me that I'm not frozen there. I appreciate that. I'm like, I'm still moving on my screen. Okay, so we're going to take this and I'm going to add it to this white layer. And I just wanted that little pop of white behind this glitter layer. And then we're going to put this on our card front. Just like this. Woohoo! Pretty, pretty. I see I got this little crooked down here, but you guys will forgive me for that. Okay, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this. So I got my Mango Melody ink, and I'm going to use the So Grateful to Have a Friend Like You. Now you've got several different sentiments in here. Congratulations on your special day, wishing you a happy birthday, friend, thank you, and hello, as well as these little flowers. So I'm going to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. Yay! Okay. And then I'm going to add this to my card. And I think what I'd like to do is put this on dimensionals. Now it's gonna be a little tricky. I haven't actually made these cards, you guys, so <laughs> you can come along with me on this little experimental ride, right? And I think I'll just add some dimensionals on this banner on the back. Oh, thank you guys so much for coming back. It always like stresses me out when my something goes wrong with my live because I'm like, oh my gosh, is anybody gonna come back and watch me? Well, look at all of you, you're amazing. Okay, then I think I'll use, this is what those mini dimensionals are really good for. I'm going to bring in a few of these just in some of the larger areas where I think they won't be seen on the front. Oh, I could probably put one right here. When you turn it over, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking, don't think too hard. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to just take a little sliver here. And do this. Let's see, where is this going to fit? I think I'm right there. Hang on, I'm going to have to trim this off a little bit. There we go. Okay. Well, this one will probably fit right there. Amy. <laughs> it worked. Okay, we're going to pop these all off. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Whew. Oh, my good Lord. How pretty is this? You guys saw how easy it was, right? Super simple. Now, 
If I wanted to, I could add some of these, and I think I do want to, because why not? They're very pretty and they're blingy. And I know we've got a lot of bling going on here, but why not get a little bit more bling? Oh, that's pretty. Let's put this right down here. And then how about one of these, maybe right there. And oh, let's get a different colored one. How about one of these? Yes. Oh, it just flew away. Here we go. I'll put one more right there. Ha! Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. This is how simple this is, you guys. So this whole bundle is called Artistry Blooms. It was a suite in the annual catalog. Let's find it here. That's Healing Hugs. That was our boho. I got little markers here to help me out. Here we go. Let's get this out of the way. So here is the stamp set and here is the entire thing. So this matched up with the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. That is retiring. But I think everything else that I'm using is not retiring. But look at all these pretty ideas. They're just so, so pretty. The reason why I wanted to show this to you is because I have a whole online class. And here's one of the pre-cut cardstock packs. This was one of my kit classes from July. So this was like shortly right after the catalog came out. But here is an entire pack. You get eight cards to make using the Artistry Blooms bundle. Now, with this particular online class, you're going to need to have the glimmer paper, and a lot of you already have it, as well as the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper, okay? And in my online class, it tells all the things that you need to um, have to be able to make this class. Oh, and Helen is asking me, if you didn't use dimensionals, how would you glue it down? I would just use my liquid glue. I would put the liquid glue on the back of this and glue it down. You could also use mini glue dots if you wanted to. That would work fine also, Helen. I'm glad you're asking that. So yeah, but anyways, I have a few of these packets left. Oh, Bonnie says she bought the kit class and made the cards and they are so pretty. Yes, Bonnie, I have to tell you guys that there are some very unique ideas using the stamp set and the dies in the online class. And by the way, I think there are nine, I think there are nine cards in here all different. So you get nine different ideas with this particular bundle. My kit class is four different ideas. You get to make two of each for a total of eight. But this was my online class with Barb and Dina that we did last July. And you get nine card ideas and they're all really, really cool. Like you will be so impressed with them. It was one of the funnest classes that I've ever done. So here comes the inside layer and I've got a little three quarter inch strip off the bottom of this glimmer paper that I'm going to put on my inside. Now I was gonna tell you guys I can't remember how much this kit class is but if you don't have the stamp set and dies you can add them on. Um, all kinds of goodies on there but I make, I'll make sure that I post the link on this Facebook page and then you can also find it in my online classes on my blog when I'm done here tonight. And here comes our inside layer. And then one more thing I wanted to do. Look at how pretty that is, right? Oh, makes me happy. Is I wanted to stamp on my envelope. So this is that big stamp bouquet. And I wanted to do this on my envelope. Look how pretty that is. Ah. And then I've got that little friend stamp and some black. And I'm just going to put that right there. So this is going to be my envelope. Just like that. Pretty, right? Okay. I have one more. Are you guys up for it? All I'm going to do is put this one together because it's super quick and easy. Um, 
Hang on, let me get this cleaned off. And this. And this. Let's see. Oh, I think I need Bermuda Bay, which we already use. Here we go. Here we go with the Bermuda Bay. Okay, so let's just set this aside. I had out my ribbon, but I don't even think I, my card needs any ribbon. Mm -hmm. I was gonna thinking about using it, but I don't think it needs any. So that's why I didn't use it. But you certainly could add some ribbon. Okay, here comes Bermuda Bay. This is um, five and a half by eight and a half, folded in half. And then I wanted to bring in um, this paper, okay? This is just a little bit different than this one, right? <laughs> little different colors. So I'm going to add this to, oh, I think I forgot to tell you guys my white layer is, let me measure it. I forgot what this one was already. Remember we measured? The glimmer paper last time but heck I can't remember that was a long time ago I thought last Thursday was a month ago <laughs> okay white layer is four by five and a quarter and then the glimmer paper is just an eighth of an inch smaller okay so I'm just going to add this to my card front and this time I think Helen asked how I would glue those flowers down if I didn't use dimensionals so we are going to do that Oh, we're going to stamp them first. So I think I'll do my friend again. So grateful to have a friend like you. And I'm using Bermuda Bay ink. Yay! And I'm just going to use some glue. So I'm going to put glue in my bigger areas here on the back of my flower die. Okay, so just a few up here, and then I'll do some here and here. Call it a day. You don't need too much. So pretty, right? Carol, the buzzing sound that you hear is a little tiny fan that I have blowing on my phone because my phone has been overheating, and you guys told me I need a new battery. I just haven't had time to get that so that's what you hear buzzing it is my phone and we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with it sorry <laughs> until I can get a new phone which is hateful it's almost as bad as buying a new car don't you guys agree like I hate getting new phones they're just ugh. okay so I put some more ad ad adhesive um, sequins on there and then here's a little piece three-quarter inch piece of the rainbow glimmer paper and I'm gonna put that right down here get that on there straight I see I have to trim a tiny bit off here just a tiny little bit there we go and Yep, I'm going to get some new glue out, right? Here we go. So pretty. Yay. And then I've got my envelope. I'm going to do the same thing with my envelope here. Only I'm using Bermuda Bay ink. And we're going to stamp that right here. And then I've got my black, my little friend. And then how about we just do friend right up here? Perfect. I just thought that was kind of cute. So here's my other card. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And this is the one I have an online class in. I've got some more cards to show you that I've made using this bundle. Sweet, I should say. Look at this one. This is Kathy Miller. My, um, one of my team members, my friend Kathy, made this card. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Here's another one that I made. 
I had this on my blog. It's um, it's a video, but look at that. This is a step card. That's what they call these. Isn't that pretty? <gasps> yeah, pretty cool, right? And it just sits up like this. Very cool. And then I have this. This is another little fun fold. Look at that. Cool, right? And here's just different colors. Got some flowers on here. Love you, Love you too. Good night. Steve just came in. He's headed to bed. And then another one right here. Ah. This is all that pretty paper. Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. Right? So, now here's a whole bunch of other ideas to go with totally different nine different ideas in this online class. So, yay! Um, let me know. I've got, a, like I said, I've got a few of these left. Probably, I don't know, six or so. I haven't really counted them, but I've got several of these left. If you find that you can click on the button to order them, go ahead and do it. You don't need to email me and ask me if I have any left because when I run out of them, I will shut the button off and say that they're sold out. So just know that. <laughs> Judy says goodnight, Steve. <laughs> Thanks, Judy. I'll pass that on to him. What fold is that last card? Um, I can't remember. Does anybody remember what this fold is called? Is this the one you're asking about? Yeah, I don't, I can't remember what that's called. It does have a name though. But yeah, it's pretty cute, right? I can tell you, hang on, where'd my ruler go? Right here. I can tell you that it is scored, it's four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at two and a half, and six and three quarters. Two and a half, six and three quarters, okay? Then you put your circle punch in here, and you punch out a circle, so half is here and half is here, and then you need a smaller circle to be able to do that. Good? Now, if you miss those dimensions, you guys, when I'm done with this live, you can go back in and, and start watching it, and you can fast forward to right here where I'm telling you those dimensions again. So just know that. I know some people don't know that, and I want you to know that. I want you to know all the good things. Okay, now, don't forget, if you are planning on placing an order, I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps all these free videos coming to you and helps me pay my bills. <laughs> this is my host code if your order is under $150. Please use that code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those if you have them coming, right? Now, I have some mail to show you. I got some really pretty stuff in the mail. So I have some goodies to share with you there, but I got to get this cleaned up just a little bit. Oops, hang on. Get all the things out of the way here. So that I have some room to show you the pretty things. <laughs> oh, I made a mess out of this. Where did my... Can anybody see my... Here it is. My cleaner. Ah, oh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Pamela says, love the cards. Peggy says, very informative. Thanks for sharing these card ideas. You guys are so welcome. Thank you for joining me so I have somebody to share the card ideas with, right? That's kind of important. How much fun would this be if I was alone? <laughs> Not fun at all. Okay, so let's get the mail. I'm going to share that with you guys. Okay, so I have this to share with you. This is crazy, crazy. Okay, so all of these stamp sets, all of these stamp sets were sent to me, plus the ones I gave away tonight. So three more sets than this were sent to me by Kathy Fennell. And she sent me this gorgeous card. Isn't this pretty? And look at the inside. Is that gorgeous? And Kathy says... A little thank you for all that you do. Hope you can use these as 
giveaways or thank yous for your customers. I certainly got more than my share of celebration this year and couldn't think of a better place to send them. I know you'll find the best way to pass them on. Thanks again. So, Kathy Fennell, thank you very much for this beautiful card and all of these stamp sets, and I will definitely find a good home for them. You can count on it. Next, let's see. Oh, I have some fabulous, fabulous mail to share with you. This came from Pam Taylor, you guys. Look at this. This is a slimline card. And this uses Dina's Pretty Perennial stamp set. Absolutely gorgeous with some circle masking. And then look at how pretty her envelope is. I love this. It's a hug with a fold in the middle. And um, she says, here again, I am loving blending brushes and experimenting with all the new inks. Don't look too close at, to my stamping. I didn't yet have my new black pad. This looks perfect. I don't know what you're talking about. My shipment from Free Shipping Day is full of all the blender pens to match my Brights, Settles, and Regals bundles. So be prepared to hear my excitement playing with them. Excellent. Um, she said, the last one on 324 of my lives with the first she caught from start to finish. And what great info I gleaned and joyed to see your cards and tips. So glad to have become a part of this community, Pam Taylor. Thank you, Pam. You are so sweet. Oh, Marcia says, thank, happy birthday to your mom. Thank you so much. Okay. Next up, we have Elaine. Look at this stinking adorable card with that welcome Easter stamp set. This, she says, may this blessed season bring you much happiness. Happy Easter. Thank you, Elaine. This is the cutest little card. I love it. Next, we have um, Peg Herrick. Oh, and Peg sent this for Val. She says, here is a birthday card for Miss Val. You said she'll be, she will be one on April 25th. My oldest granddaughter will be 10 on April 26th. I can't wait until the new catalog is shipped. I still have Christmas money to spend. Have a wonderful Easter. Look at this. What? Way to go, Peg. How stinking cute is that? Val is going to love this. Happy first birthday. How sweet are you? So, I have to put this back in here and make sure that I give this to little Miss Val. So, I'll make sure that gets to her, Peg. Thank you so much. This made me giggle. Look at this little bunny peeking out of that window. Is that not the cutest little thing? This is from Rose Bell. Thank you so much, Rose. Happy Easter. She says, thank you for your friendship and your videos. And little Val is a cutie. God bless. Thank you so much, Rose. You're so sweet. <laughs> I love that card. Next up, we have a Pam Taylor again. What? What? Look at this beautiful card. I love this one. She says, yes, you do make my heart happy. Says, you make my heart happy. She says, joining SU was not something I ever thought I wanted to do, even though I've been a card maker for years. But I must tell you that not only am I getting great new stamps, inks, and tools, but the people that are involved here or have been such a boost. It's a really, it's been a really tough year. Thank you for putting the work into making it a fun and fabulous community, Pam Taylor. Pam, you are so welcome. And I can't tell you guys how much fun it is to be part of something bigger than just sitting at home stamping by yourself. Um, I have a team meeting this week on Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, the 6th. And um, I've got mystery stamping. So you guys that are on my team, watch for the mystery stamping coming. I think it's coming, going to be posting tomorrow night. We've got some mystery stamping challenges just, that are just a lot of fun. But um, tons and tons of stuff happens with my team. And that's whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper. I don't... I don't discriminate against either one of those. So you get to be part of something bigger and it's just so much fun. My team members are the nicest people. I see lots of them on here watching tonight too. So 
She says, here's my version of the card you just posted to Facebook. Yes, the words on the front are supposed to be Kitty Wampus. <laughs> and so far, this Pretty Perennials is my most used stamp set. This one is a beauty, you guys, and it is retiring. So that's Dina's stamp set. Um, get one. Got matching dies, too. It is fantastic. Oh, and here's some more bubble wrap, you guys. This came covering the front of this card so that these little rhinestones would not push through the front of the envelope. Oh, and look at the envelope flap. Can't forget that. Yeah. Oh, Rose has got hers stamped too. And Elaine's got a little sticker on the back of hers. Love that. But anyways, um, this is just some the inside of an actual envelope that she put over the front of the card so that it wouldn't get hung up in the mail. So that's a really good way to, you know, recycle and reuse, right? Pretty good, pretty good idea. Here comes another one. Oh, you're the best. This is from Debbie Lindauer. She says, thanks for all you do. I wanted to thank you for all you did to put the spring retreat together. I had such a great weekend. Looking forward to the summer retreat. Yes. We are going to be doing a summer retreat, so you guys watch for that information. Really appreciate all you do. Debbie, you are so sweet. Thank you so much for that. And then here comes one from Barbara Pike. Look at this. Are you guys ready? What? Holy cannoli. Look at that. All that fanciness, right? Very cool. And it says, thank you, thank you, thank you ever so much. Your kindness made my day. A very fun weekend. You guys did a great job. Look forward to the summer retreat, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. I'm so glad you guys could join for that summer retreat. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. This is coming from Pris Pris Priscilla Sedawan. I'm sure I'm saying your name wrong, Priscilla, but Look at this. This is so cute. And this is for Val also. This is a magic card. <gasps> Look at how it turns colors. Ready? Hang on. Oh, hang on. I goofed it up. There we go. Hang on. Kelly's doing something wrong. It's not your card, Priscilla. It's Kelly. Okay, ready? And here comes the color magic card. These are, this is super, super cute. Thank you so much. It says, for the little one who tugs on our heartstrings. <laughs> so sweet. Isn't that cute? I love it. So thank you very much. Oh, there. Now it's going back better. Super, super cute. Oh, I got to make sure this gets to Val. She'll have fun with that, too. And here comes another one. Oh, pretty envelope. Here comes another one. Also... Same thing, the inside of an envelope that she's recycling to cover up the front of her card so that these things don't poke through, which is a great idea, right? Yeah, Diane says, another great idea for bubble wrap. I know. This is pretty. This made me go like, oh my goodness. This is from Judy Dempton. Judy, I know you're on here tonight. You just said goodnight to Steve. It says, dear Kelly, just a note to thank you for the beautiful card and for all you do for us. Your joy, your energy, and your and inspiration. Thank you, Judy. Judy, thank you for the beautiful card. I love it. Okay, you guys. It is April 11th. I will be live again on the 18th, um, which is next Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time. I have a blog hop coming up on Wednesday evening, so watch for that. I'm going to be using retiring products, so that'll be exciting. I might make another card with the healing hugs. So you'll have another idea with healing hugs. Um, I'll put up all the information tonight on the online class that I have using the Artistry Blooms. Also the um, kit class using the healing hugs. And it's going to take me probably a day or two to do the boho class information that I do with Dina and Barb. But I've got um, two new online classes and then also this online class where I have a few packets left from July of last year that I want to make sure you guys can get a hold of right before anything retires so there you go 
Have yourselves a wonderful week. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for coming back on this live. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Maybe this week I'll find time to go get a new phone. I don't know. Oh, like I said, it just gives me hives. I hate it. But um, have yourselves a great week. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.